did you tie yourself? I did. Nice. I, I'm, I'm getting record time now. I'm doing it in like 30 seconds. Oh, amazing. Can, you, un uh, can you untie it and tie it before the show Oh, un untying uh, is literally just like, just tearing it apart. Like. <laughs> It is that time, the first time in all of the game show history of a whole semester and a half. It is the finale. And for the first time, as prefaced before in every single episode, we will be giving out a $100 gift card. And it's not to any specific place. It's a Visa gift card. Use it anywhere that accepts credit cards. Use it on gas. Use it on food. Use it on toys. I don't know. Use it whatever you want. But that's up to these guys right here to decide how much they want this. How smart you're going to be and to see if you're going to get it. As you see right now, we are debuting the new What's the word I'm thinking Podiums. About? Podiums, yes. I was thinking like pedestals. I'm like, they're not pedestals, they're podiums. But yes, these were designed by our, by our very talented production manager, Lauren Colorone. Thank you very much. It's very appreciated. So, we don't need to look at the leaderboard again today because this is the leaderboard. And I will introduce them all once again in a, in a moment, but <sighs> I'm going to ask them how they feel first before we get to that. How do you feel, guys? What's the, uh, what are the emotions right now? Um, nervous and unintelligent. Nick, so. you had a very interesting showing last, <laughs> last time you were on here. You actually were on the first episode of this season. I was, I was, yeah. And I, um, I thought it was going to lose, not going to lie. But then I put all my chips in and it turned out to win. It was so. the luck of the draw. You put all your chips in. Uh, the other two got it, their question wrong, yes. so they lost a bunch, and you gained it all. I feel so. bad, because I had the lowest score after <laughs> round three in history, and the person to my right had the highest score in history, and I just, you know Yeah, what? Up, up to I, that moment, the person to your right did have the highest score. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't know. Something just came over me. That one question, I just got, like, Uber brain power. Yeah, for that and one uh, specific question. you can look back at all the episodes. I've just been begging every contestant to come on to beat you, but it didn't <laughs> happen. So obviously, you're here for a reason. I am. Uh, you were here the first, and eight episodes later, you're still here. So something that is happened. Correct. Something did happen. <laughs> all right. And then, Shayna, you were actually on episode two of mm -hmm. this season, I remember. And you were a part of the episode where everybody score that episode was actually higher than most people's winnings. Yeah. Like, you it were, was like a tight game. You were like, on a I talented was losing episode. at first, too. I was like not doing Yeah, you had 1,700, and um, it has gone basically untouched. And then Mac, who was also on that show, finished with a 1,600, is not even here. Yeah, it was tight. It was a tight race. Yes, and Kristen. You were episode six, I want to say. So that had been like three episodes ago. And you had, that was a, also a really close game. You and Manny were very close. Yeah, yeah. I almost uh, didn't make it. I risked enough, though. <laughs> I did it. That's what you got to do. Gotta that's what you got to do. And that's what I want to see again tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no worrying about getting on the leaderboard tonight because this is the final, this is the end of the semester. We'll get back next semester, don't you worry. There's a lot. All right. Lot. Now let's go through all you guys again. You may reintroduce yourself. Hi, my name is Kristen Pazonic. I am from Eden, New York, and I am a theater arts major with a minor in business administration. Let's take a look at Kristen's best moments, last <laughs> appearance on when she was here. <laughs> the only one that wasn't a Disney film. That's, that was my train of thought. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I just picked two random ones. Rapunzel is a Disney film. Is it? Yeah, is The it? Fox. I got it. Yeah. Lupus is an autoimmune disease, Kristen. True. That is true, yeah. Right. Hail usually falls from stratus clouds, Kristen. False. Correct, that is right. false. Right. Four correct. Did I? Yes. All right, Kristen, that's 40 points for you. Even myself. So, uh, no, it was their pet. Um, wow. They started having too many rabbits because they thought one of the boys was a girl, and so they got mixed up, and then they had too many, and the dad was a psychopath, and he wow. killed the rabbits and tried to make me eat one one time. That like I said, I am interested in vintage weaponry. I'm taking uh, 
medieval weapons right now. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't oh, lose no. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it is okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's okay. okay. All different ones. This is D. Oh. The king and the rook. One of these oh, no. moves my brother used to make me cry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed in myself, I'll be honest. Why is that? I'm in second place now. <laughs> you know, but not by far. Not by far. Not by far but... at all. Game still still go anywhere. Mm. What are the famous two names of the young girl that is the owner of Clifford? The big red dog. <laughs> we need two names here. As she went by, two names. Just like that, that is time. All right, so I will start again with Kristen right here, and we will see your answer. Emily, Emily Elizabeth. Oh, that's what it is. Which is correct. <laughs> Kristen today bets. 650 points, bringing her total today up to 1410. Ryan bet 509, which brought him down to one point today. And that means our winner today is Kristen. Nice work. I usually get a grande dirty chai latte with one shot of espresso. If it's a rough day, two shots of espresso. All right, well, today's not a rough day for you. So today is a celebratory day. Good times, good times. Feels like it was only a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, then we'll move on. One more over. You may oh, do God. the same thing, name, hometown, and major. Ooh. My name is Nicholas Dory, and I am from Brockton, New York. My major is video production and narrative. I have a minor in English and creative writing and arts administration. And let's take a look at Nick Dory's best moments last time he appeared on the show. I made my way to Germany with my parents, because uh, that's where they're both from. Um, and I have an estate in Argentina that I don't really like to talk about, um, so. Really? Yeah, so we can move on from that. Uh, <laughs> Nick, you're not a Project Runway guy. I watched all eight seasons, um, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding, so. I don't even know if there are eight seasons. <laughs> if life wasn't funny, it would just be tragic is the quote, so. I just kind of live by that, I don't know. Yeah. Nick, don't let that get you down yet, because historically on the game show, the person in last place ends up winning. Oh, okay. So I don't right. want really, to boost your ego either. That means uh, you guys have, uh, have to uh, stop him. <laughs> Braylon, you're on the right track. It was B, dinosaur. Wow. All right, which one do we have to say? C, B, and C? It was C. Oh. The Blue is the official beer of the Buffalo Bills. True. Nick, that is true. Oh, sorry, that's false. My bad. That is false. Treasure Island was written by Herman Melville. True. That is wrong. Nintendo 64 was released in 1994. True. That is... you are wrong. Right. <laughs> Reggio de Calabria is a town in Greece. True. Wrong. Oh. Okay, so I'll start with Nick. Oh, wait. Right now? All right, which one was it? C, B, and B? Oh my god. C. What? I changed oh. it from C. <laughs> the science of randomly guessing. Yeah, I mean, would... It sounded right. I know Al uh, Australia is mostly crocodiles. They got beef. <laughs> they, they go way back. I mean, I, I tried my best. And you know what? Um, it's not over yet. The name of the German highway system that famously has no speed limit for 70% of this length. No. <laughs> Nine hundred and eighty points, Nick. What did you have to say? Der Autobahn. Yes. Is he would put the dare in front of it. Autobahn oh is correct. God. Nick, thirteen hundred twenty. Thirteen twenty. Wow. Nick Dory. <laughs> what did I say? I'd like to thank the Academy. Um, uh, wow, and my parents. <laughs> Amazon gift card. We uh, make people proud owners on this show. I am in shock. Feels like a different time, doesn't it? That was so long Indeed. ago, it feels like a different time. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, you said for, so you weren't born in Germany? No, I was not. I was born in Pittsburgh, but yeah. I went back and forth every year. Right. Your parents were born in Germany? Yep. Yeah, both of them are German. Okay, yep. that's why you knew the German question. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, last but most certainly not least, you may do the same. 
Hi, my name is Shayna Gordon. I am a Fredonia alum where I got my degree in theater arts and women and gender studies, and I'm from Long Island, New York, Lindenhurst uh, in Suffolk County. Sweet. And let's look at Shayna's best moments on the show. For a series like three months, I was like getting ready to go to the Marines, and then my dad was like, Listen, Shay, I, I just don't think you're gonna do well. <laughs> so I didn't go. Did he really just be sitting on his couch? Yeah. And his <laughs> owner is like, hey, you wanna do something? He's like, no. The person who is typically in last place for most of the game has historically ended up winning. Watch your backs. What hat is he wearing, guys? C, C, and A. It is A. Yes. A Panama hat. Pan Let's do. Food cravings for 40. Nickelodeon series Sanjay and Craig. Oh. The duo have. Don't attack me. Tigger is where it's at for me. Yeah, because you're fing crazy, dude. Oh, yeah. How's it feel, Vasapoli? It doesn't feel good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ew. It's so fing terrible. terrible. Hey, I made a comeback. Yes, Not yes, you did. Shayna? Thanks, Ryan. On like a famous person, I did mine on Amelia Earhart. Wow. She's super cool. She's definitely queer. She's definitely you think gay. So? Yeah. A, A, and C. It was A. <laughs> Coke. Chai tea is a variety of black tea. Shayna. Uh, true. That is correct. Right. False. <laughs> we grow their tails. Shayna. True. False. <laughs> the Taj Mahal is located in Turkey. Shayna. False. Yes, that is false. Right. Shayna, you're up. Oh my god. Um, let's do. Isn't and that it's like a, a it's game, Madden? Holy shit, I haven't seen that movie in years. Sorry, so, man, I'm gonna be late call. to work. I'm honking right now. <laughs> yeah. My grandpa likes guess. basketball, that's the only reason. Mac likes basketball, I know that. Oh, that's my grandpa, I don't know yeah. if you knew. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. Um, you don't want to be named after a penguin? All right, no. yes, that is the lead. 800 I mean, to 650, being named after you is what I meant to say. <laughs> Which brought him up to 1,300 points. And Shayna, what did you say? Cubism. Cubism? as well, which is correct, and Shayna wagered 800 points, taking their score up to 1,700. So Shayna, you are today's winner of the game Congratulations. show. Congratulations. You may come Stay. up in here, come up here. I like winning things, it's fun. Also feels like a lifetime ago. Uh, these, you know, honestly, this semester has gone by pretty fast for what it's worth, mm -hmm. at least in my, um, at least my opinion. I believe we've f survived. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's like a lot happened. A lot of, a lot of shit happened this oh, semester, no, and it went, went faster than I feel like it would have. It is still happening too. You know, it is still I'm happening. I'm still getting pummeled by my English classes. We so. still had to. We had to get this done before we all left. <laughs> And with that, who's ready to start the finale? I am totally ready. I'm ready. To... Awesome. Let's, uh, yes, and if the questions seem a little bit harder today, don't worry, because cause they are. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear. Let's take a look at our first round questions. So, we have today, tribute to Trebek trivia. You really gotta do that. You know, it's only right. We wouldn't be here without him. Famous speeches. Stuff you've seen in commercials, and same name, different city. Oh. Kristen, let's begin with you. Stuff you've seen in commercials for 20. Stuff you've seen in commercials for 20. Good start, good start. Zoo Pals, a brand of children's tableware, was famously noted in their jingle for accomplishing what task? Making eating fun, making eating delicious, or making eating amazing. I've never felt more confident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm singing All in, of the I'm questions so hard. Right if there is anything that like getting a bachelor's degree was worth, it was this. <laughs> <laughs> it was this. I'm literally singing it in my head as we speak. All right, what what were they known for doing? Still calls me eating. Yes, it is. It is A. Boom. Be really so how did your bachelor's degree? <laughs> Relate to Zoo Pals? What's up? How, yeah. how did your bachelor's degree relate to Zoo Pals? Um, it doesn't. I just. Oh it wait. Cool. Oh, I thought you were. Saying, I thought you were implying that like you knew this because of your degree. No, I just went to <laughs> college to be on a game show, bro. That's all I'm saying. Okay. That's why I'm here. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm here. Nick, you were up. Mm. Speeches for thirty. Famous speeches for thirty. 
The Gettysburg, the Gettysburg Address still remains one of the best known speeches in American history. President Lincoln gave the speech during the American Civil War, but what was the occasion of the speech? Was it the anniversary of the start of the war? Was it the dedication of Soldiers National Cemetery? Or was it President Lincoln's birthday? What was the occasion of the Gettysburg Address? A, B, and B. The occasion was B. It was the dedication to Soldiers National Cemetery. Oh. There we go. There's See, I read that. <laughs> I read that when we were doing it, and I was like, wait. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, that was the Emancipation Proclamation. Never mind. <laughs> wait like, a I, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, there's nothing about <laughs> slaves here. And then I was like, oh, yeah, OK. That was that. All right, Shayna. Um, let's do tribute to Trebek uh, for 20. Tribute to Trebek trivia for 20. Trebek was famously a Canadian-American who grew up in a bilingual French-English household before moving to the U.S. in 1973. What province did he hail from? Did he come from Quebec, Alberta, or Ontario? Like, you were so oh, I, I draw. I write all the num. I write all the letters. I can tell. You yeah. were really like <laughs> this was Ryan. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna feel really bad if I get any of these wrong. Why? Well, like, I am gonna really get these bad. wrong. I already feel bad this about this. This is not I like something it. that's common. It's not like it's like. Can I change it? Yeah. You haven't shown it yet. So yeah. more like a situational thing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, but you know, if Alex was here today, I, I guarantee you he would not be offended. I if you really got this think wrong. you would not. Be <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> be like, like, all right. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> he was always so sassy too. Like, if you got it wrong, you'd be like, <laughs> exactly. Why'd you get that wrong? It's like, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. Which um, which province did he come from? C A and A. Alex Trebek came from C, Ontario. Oh. I had A and I changed. I just picked yeah, Quebec because yeah. I sounded the most the, French. The Quebec violin. from Tre like Trebek yeah. from Quebec. I thought that, and then I said, no, Kristen, that's, that's just cheap. The bilingual French, really. It's up to you to decide whether or not the wording is supposed to trick you or not. I don't the know. Quebec French just sounded really good. Yes, bad. exactly. Well, actually, I was reading about his biography, and it literally said biling like bilingual French, English French household, and then I like looked up his birth date, and it said Ontario. So I was like, interesting. Interesting. It People are gonna think that's Quebec. <laughs> right. I, I sure thought it was. <laughs> yeah. All right, Kristen. Commercials for thirty. Stuff you've seen in commercials for thirty. Because you're worth it is the famous tagline of what makeup <gasps> brand? Oh my God! Wait. Maybelline, L'Oreal, or Revlon? I should know this. Frick! Oh my god. <laughs> no, I know it. Like, I know it. But <sighs> too many makeup subscription boxes to get this wrong, okay, and I'm going okay. to. Oh, look at that confidence. That's not confidence. <laughs> <laughs> that just, okay. that nod just means if you wrote I'm something wrong, down. I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> I completed writing the letter. Yeah. That's confidence that like, there I, is something on there. There's something I think I got it. Okay. All right, what is the makeup brand? Oh wait, I want to change my answer. You got is it too late? Now. <sighs> B and C. Yeah, I knew B. it. I literally was down once, myself. Once, once, once uh, someone turns it around, then you can't change it anymore. Damn! I literally was turning it. I was like, this is wrong. Because <laughs> isn't that when the London look? Like yes. The London look, You're yeah. so right, Kristen. Oh. I knew that Maybelline was like maybe because, Maybelline. All right, let's go with same name for ten. Dif uh, same name, different city for ten. Which country does not have a city named Oxford within its premises? And I don't know why there aren't numbers before or letters before those choices, but we're just going to pretend they're there. From top a, to bottom. Yeah, <laughs> from top to bottom. Canada, the United Kingdom, or Australia? And just so there's no, I know I don't have to do this, but since there's no discrepancy, A is Canada, B is United Kingdom, and C is Australia. For the audience at home, I like that. Oh man, yeah. I was really going yeah, to yeah. try and argue, and if I got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no, I disagree with what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm really trying to remember my geography, man. OK, if I'm wrong. All right, which does not have an Oxford? A, A, and C. There is no Oxford in C, Australia. Oh. 
Oh. Go for me. <laughs> oh, it's under yeah. the queen. It's under the queen. How? That's crazy. At least nobody picked me. What's that? Oh. Said, at least, <laughs> at least nobody picked me. Yes. No. It, it, right. That, Sorry, that was the only reason. You that was the only reason it was a ten-point question because we had okay. United Kingdom in there. Cool, cool, cool. Because I think that's where everybody knows Oxford from University mm -hmm. of Oxford, at least. Yeah. Right. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. All right, Shayna. Let's do famous speeches for forty. Famous speeches go. for forty. In 1851, the speech in Iowa, woman was given at Akron, Ohio Women's Rights Convention by Sojourner Truth, a woman who was formerly enslaved. What was her name while she was enslaved before she changed it? Was it Sarah Douglas, Elizabeth Freeman, or Isabella Bonfrey? I don't feel confident. <laughs> <laughs> But you're going to learn. It's this is, okay. yeah, it's this is, this is important fun, history, it? Nick. This is something you should retain. Yeah. Should be something I, I should do. This, this is I learned with my degree. <gasps> so so what, were you just, yeah, what were you just prefacing about like coming See, in with your degree? There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> what, was oh, the, what was the former name? Of Sojourner Truth, C A and C. Oh, okay. C. Yeah. Isabella Bonfrey. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna stick with commercials. I'm gonna go. Free. You know what? If it's suiting you, then yes. I'm gonna go easy on ten. All right, stuff you've seen in commercials for ten. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Appreciate what would you dial on your cell phone if you had a structured settlement and you needed cash at that very moment? 1-800 Cash Now, 888 Need Cash, or 877 Cash Now. <laughs> this is this is causing more discrepancy than I thought it would. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, know if discrepancy is the right it. word, but you know what I mean. Uh, confusion. Yeah, this is causing more confusion than I thought it would actually. I definitely am torn between two. <laughs> All right, what uh, what do you Ten dial? <laughs> C C C. Yes, it is C. I'm so glad you got that. Call I'm between Wentworth. Eight seven seven cash now. Cash 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 All right, Nick. Nice. Um, stuff you've seen in commercials for forty. Let's finish off the first category of the finale. Budweiser is famously known for their attractive women and fat men in their commercials, Great. as well as their horses. What type of horse would you see in a Budweiser ad? An Andalusian horse, a Clydesdale horse, or a Mustang? I feel like a trick question. <laughs> oh, is that a confidence knock? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I drink uh, a lot of beer. Uh, <laughs> uh, I makes me too gassy. Uh, this is more of a wine person, right? I am more of a wine. A dry wine, maybe a dry wine. Budweiser red. is bad. It's bad. Read. Sorry. No, uh, I would say Bud Light is pretty bad. Bud Light is oh, okay. Yeah, I like Budweiser more than like, Bud Light. I didn't even pick one yet. Like, I'm just <laughs> it's that's fine, it's fine. Engaging I, conversation, yeah. I'm just going to like go with the one that I think like I am oh. more familiar if with. You were, if you were creating a beer commercial, what type of horse would you put in your beer Listen, commercial? Listen, I do not like, know much about horses. <laughs> I would put one of the Norwegian ones in there. I can't think of the name of them. I would just put a I know what you're talking about. Mm, I would like a unicorn yeah. to be, be the face be of different. my beer. All right, what type of horse would you find? B, B, and B. Good, good guess, guys. B, a Clydesdale horse. That's amazing. Horse. I picked go. that because I had a Clydesdale Webkins when I was little. Really? Oh. <laughs> I had a Clydesdale horse, too. Uh, I named mine Brownie. <laughs> I, I think I named mine uh, Secretariat because I thought I was like f***ing cool as a kid. Yeah. It's like, huh, I named mine after a famous racehorse. It's like... I named mine, my webkins, after words I could physically see in front of me so I wouldn't mess up the spelling. So I had a bear named Google. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so good. You just had the web page open. I had the tab open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My Shane, favorite part right? of the show is when you just go. The game show. Yes. <laughs> and now, when you see so you just did in a camera, I'm going to put the voice over. Oh, wait, can I try it? Wait. Yes, can yes. The game show. 
Was there I you go. Yeah, yeah, we got one more. We got one more. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> 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 like a game show. Yes! Awesome. Yes! Loving the enthusiasm. Um, All right, Shayna. Okay, let's do Wolfen... Well, Wolfen sorry, uh, Wolfen my brain Wolfen. turned off. Famous speeches for 20. Famous speeches for 20. In 2019, a speech was given by a young person shaming world leaders for their failure to act on climate change with lines like, I don't want you to be hopeful, I want you to panic. I want you to feel the fear I feel, fear, feel the fear I feel every day. Who gave the speech? Yara Shahidi, Isra Hersey, or Greta Thunberg? <laughs> I'm sitting in the same exact I feel pretty confident. You actually, actually, like you guys are all sitting in the same exact spots mm -hmm. wow. that you That's all won in. So. That's crazy. <laughs> well, none of us are because we're sitting at stools and not you, you're right, you're right. the comfy sure. rolly chair. Yeah, it, we actually didn't have these because of their improvement. We had it so you didn't have the same lucky energy that you did last time. <laughs> All right. What is who? Who said that? Who said it? <laughs> C C C. Yes, it is C. <laughs> Greta Thunberg. Did twenty nineteen even happen, guys? Like did? It? Oh twenty twenty even happened, actually. Yeah, I mean. For All right, now. Kristen. I believe you're up. Apparently. Um. Um. Tribute to to Trebek trivia for thirty. Tribute to Trebek trivia for thirty. Alex Trebek will always be remembered as the penultimate host of Jeopardy. However, there had been several previous hosts before him. In what year did Trebek begin hosting this game show classic? Did he start in 1967, 1975, or 1984? Oh is that copyright? <laughs> He's 35 episodes left, too, which is crazy. I know, he had a contract up until, yeah. That man said, I'm fine, I'm just gonna keep filming. Did you guys hear they're trying to replace him with that one guy that yeah. like, won everything? Ken Jennings? Ken Jennings. Ken Jennings. He would, I feel like he'd be the perfect replacement. Yes. Like, they were like best friends. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Really? Like, golfing. Well, I know, after he won, they like kept in contact. <laughs> he like made like multiple like returns to the show. So like, who would, who would be a better replacement, you know? Honestly, it would That's just be the perfect really Alex Trebek literally like said he wanted him to take over after he died, so. Uh, like. Awesome. <laughs> and the guy from Reading Rainbow, Milton Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. There's a couple yeah. of people. What's his name? Uh, Lamar Burton. Yes. <laughs> All right. What year did Alex Trebek start hosting Jeopardy? B, B, and C. He started hosting Jeopardy. In 1984. Oh, yes. I could have sworn he was there in the 70s. I you know, only know that because I watched a really sad tribute, like that, YouTube wait, video. I watched that too. And like it showed <laughs> wait, the what? year, and I'm just like sobbing in my like y'all don't even understand. Like this is I'm gonna play the setting for you. I'm like in my bed, like blankets wrapped around me, a glass of like like Cabernet Sauvignon, and I'm sobbing at this poor man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Okay, wait, whose turn is it? Yeah, yours. Oh, uh, <laughs> let's finish off speeches. All right, famous speeches for 10. In 1963, one man gave one of the most recognizable speeches of the 20th century. He described a fierce urgency of now, and one day he hoped for everyone to be judged by the content of their character. Which speech was this? Malcolm X's The Ballot or the Bull? Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream? or John F. Kennedy's inaugural address. All right, which speech addressed these things? B, C, and B. It was B. Oh. JFK died in 1963, no, that's no. why. <laughs> Yes. So that's why I was like... His inaugural address would have taken place in 1961. It was in, in like 1961, yeah. yeah. All right, it is now 190 to 150 to 210, but as we know, anything can happen on this show. I do know that for... You're so right. <laughs> you're so right, dude. All right, Shayna, I believe you're up. Yes. 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 <laughs> All right. Um, let's Absolutely. do uh, tribute to Trebek trivia for 10. Tribute to Trebek trivia for 10. Hence why I didn't talk about it. Along with Jeopardy, Alex was known for hosting several other game shows. Which of these was not one hosted by Trebek? Did he not host Double Dare, 
Did he not host the, host the Price is Right, or did he not host To Tell the Truth? I haven't heard of two of you, so. Really? Yeah. yeah. As someone Never who grew heard up, of The Price is Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what that is. I, I definitely grew up watching the Game Show Network. Hence uh, why this is something I, I wanted watched, to do since. Like, I remember watching Wheel of Fortune all the time. Yeah. What was the one I with all watched. the money? Like people would like all the money? No, like <laughs> <laughs> no, they would like walk into like a thing and there would be money flying in there. What? Am I making that up? Wait, I don't remember that one. Vacuum but tube where they're like flying trying to grab the stuff. Yeah. Stars. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I, I don't, don't know that's that one. That's real, no, right? I'm that not. Wasn't totally that like Chuck E. Cheese's with the tickets? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I, 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 like I haven't written anything down. So. Yeah, I remember the most, yeah. the biggest prize I've seen on a game show that was 10 million, and like that one only went for a season. It was the Power of Ten. That was on NBC. I remember that. It only yeah. went for like five I episodes wish. because like three people won a million dollars. It wasn't even the top prize. Like, wow. <laughs> all right, wow. which um, show was not hosted by Trebek? A, A, and B. Oh. Alex Trebek never hosted The Price Is Right. Oh. B. What is Double Dare? Yeah, what is it? Yeah, it's a game show like that has been revived a lot of times. Like, it's, it's something that's been going on since the 50s, and then, like, every every like, every like decade they fart out, like, another, uh, like, another. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was a burnt mark. Sorry. <laughs> Don't apologize. We love it. All right. That was Shayna, right? Was, uh, yeah, okay. that was Kristen. You're Kristen. Uh, you Belcher. Same name, different city for twenty. Same name, different city for twenty. Internationally, Naples is known as the capital of Campania, a region in Italy. What U.S. state also shares a city with the same name? Again, no letters. A. Virginia. B. Florida. Or C. Washington. All right, what state? B, B, and B. Well, yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my cousin's grandparents have a house there. Really? Yeah. Well, then that, that benefited you this time, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, my aunt, <laughs> my aunt like, lives near there. So. Paris? Wow. I, I just guessed. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Did yeah, Naples, Naples, Florida. Wow, that's this all right. Florida. Wow. Nick, <laughs> what do you want now? Uh, same name, 30. Same name, 30. Hence why I kept saying Paris last round. I didn't want to acknowledge it. Paris is a city no, known for its romance and love in France. Other Parises may not be quite so elegant, or maybe they are. I don't know. In what state would you find a city of the same name, regardless of quality? New Jersey, Colorado, or Texas? I think I, I, think I know this. Like... I do not. A random thing I learned <laughs> in elementary school is like floating in the back of my brain, and I think it's useful finally. Well, we want to, mm. And if it's not, with, I'm gonna go with what I think is. <laughs> You're saying you learn about this town and this state in elementary school? I mean, I'm sure. Like, I oh. feel like, yeah. I don't I know, know, right? I mean, what's <laughs> to tell you? I learned I that the caterpillar was very hungry at one point. I that. <laughs> That's a good book. Good book. Yeah. All right. Which state also has a Paris? C, C, and C. Okay. Yeah. Yeah! Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, man. Paris, yeah. Texas. Oh, bullshit. this for you. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Update on scores. We have Kristen at 240. We have Nick at 200. Oh. And we have Shayna at 270. That's better than where I was eight weeks ago. Absolutely. That's oh, my God. I was like, you caught up a little bit in the third round, but I remember the first round, you were, it was like... It was like 80. Right? Yeah, it was yeah like, like, I think you had like... <laughs> I got like two questions right. <laughs> All know. right. Uh, and then Shayna. We'll finish the same name, different city. Let's category. finish that one. We should finish. We should finish, category. yeah, of course. At a total of 53 different cities across the globe, this city name is one of the most frequently seen with its frequency mainly seen in regions of Mexico, Latin America, and the Philippines. Are there so many Chihuahuas, Juarez's, or San Antonio's? Oh, <laughs> I, I, 
don't know, man. <laughs> I'm here for the fun. I'm here for the fun. I'm here to fight Shayna Gordon. <laughs> Damn. I'm here to... I don't know, man. I'm just here. <laughs> You're here to sweep in at the end again. Yep, I'm here to swoop in. <laughs> All right. Which which city is very frequently named? C A and C. Okay, it's C then. San Antonio. <laughs> 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 uh, my luck can only go so far. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like that's a pretty specific name. Chihuahua. For like a, Chihuahua. No, no, San Antonio. Oh, San Antonio. Oh. Like, I feel yeah, like that's, that's a pretty like specific name for a country to be used, or for a city to be named that often. Yeah, I don't know. It said most of them were there, so I was like, oh, I've heard of a San Antonio before, so there's probably like, yeah, you that's, know. Yeah, there well, was like, there are San out of like those 53. Texas? Okay. Yeah, there, there's, that's the only one in America. Oh, gosh. But like. That's why I picked yeah. it, because I said it's. They common. were like, they were like, um. In the Philippines. 30. Oh, yeah, there were San Antonio Philippines, dude. All right. Oh, yeah, and then that 40 doesn't go away, remember. Okay. Still having that problem. And then finally, <laughs> tribute to Trebek trivia. Our boy. Come on. For Which Alice. of these unique facts was one held by Trebek himself? Did he own a horse breeding farm? Did he swim laps every morning for most of his adult life? Or did he used to be a makeup artist before hosting game shows? That's wild. <laughs> All of these are fascinating to me. Yeah. Which is the only true one? Don't let me get out, Alex. Please. I hope it's all of them. <laughs> it's just A, B, and C. It's like D, all of the above. <laughs> like this one's a freebie. Yeah. <laughs> They're all correct. I'm gonna go with the one that I think is the most unique. <laughs> all right, we all have some written down. Yeah. Sure. What unique fact was Trebek's? B, B, and what is that? That's an A that I changed at the very last minute. Okay, B, B, and A? It is A. He owned a horse breeding farm. Why didn't you swim laps, Alex? Okay, Do you I, want to know who that was? Do you I want to know who that was? Oh. I it was? That was a real unique fact about Mr. Rogers. Oh! Yeah, he would swim laps somewhere. every morning for most of his adult Mr. life. Mr. Rogers was a swell guy, too. He was a swell guy. That's what I grew up watching. A lot mm -hmm. of Mr. Rogers. A lot of PBS. Yeah, yeah. A lot PBS, of PBS kids, baby. Not you know? even PBS kids, just PBS in general. Yes, PBS kids, but like but PBS yeah, in Antiques general. Roadshow. Was that like like the public Antiques access? Antiques Roadshow. I'll unlock wow. the memory. All right, so now we finish round one of the finale of the game show with Kristen at 280 points, Nick at 200 points, and Shayna at 350 points. But we don't obviously need to preface that. Nobody is in trouble, and nobody has an advantage, technically, because anything can happen in this show. We will come back after a short break. Stay tuned. Guys, if you're about to turn 18, you gotta register with Selective Service. It's simple. Just go down to the post office, fill out a card, and turn it in. That's all there is to it. There's no draft now. You're just adding your name to Selective Service's list in case there's a national emergency. So if you're 18 now, Selective Service, you gotta get down. Register with Selective Service. It's quick, it's easy, and it's the law. Takes no time. Just sign on the line. What a great time for a drink. What a great time for a drink. What a great time for a drink. If it's time for a drink this many times a day, you're not a social drinker, you're a problem drinker. And you could be well on your way to really messing up your life. Think about it, talk to somebody about it, do something about it before it's too late. A message in the interest of your better health from the American Medical Association. 
this is not a commercial. If you think measles, mumps, whooping cough, or polio are nothing to worry about, you'd better think again. Because they could make your child go blind or deaf. They can cripple or kill. To protect children, you have to get them immunized. Get them their shots. It costs nothing or very little. So get it done now by your doctor or local health center. Your child's future is in your hands. Don't let her down. A message in the interest of better health from the American Medical Association. I'm, all, I'm going to get more water because my throat is very dry. May I also Should I have some water? Yes, sir. Yes, Thank I you. Also, <laughs> I'm going to go with right, you right. so that I know which cup yes, is mine. Yes, and this is Shana's. Oh. I'll say, oh, I'm sure right. you can hug your And welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> you said whenever I was ready and I went. How do you swallow air? I don't understand. I don't understand. You know how you swallow like food? <laughs> you just do that one. <laughs> Welcome back to round two of the finale of The Game Show. <laughs> they got it, they got it. Yep, and this might look a little different today, of course, because now we have the podiums. Yes, now we have the podiums, and this is, honestly, this is going to be how the next season will be. We've ditched the, the last thing. We have new podiums, obviously. Why would we, why would we not use them? But, uh, yeah, this will be the setup for... The true or false round from now on, I'll just scooch my entire uh, stand over here and we will conduct business from right here. All right, guys, so I don't recall everybody's performance in the last time they were hearing this, but I'm sure you guys have a better idea than I do. So how did you do last time four you did this? Four correct. You got four correct. Maybe. Nick? One correct. You got one <laughs> correct. All right. Shana, do you I remember? Think two or three. Two or three. Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm a little slower with this. I will obviously make sure of this, but based on what was said now, Kristen is the champion of this round. Mm. Sorry. With these two falling shortly behind. That's okay, because things can change, and new champions can be brought about. This will turn on, and just to pre re, uh, restate, hand can be anywhere on the table as long as it's on the table, and you can hit the button as soon as I hit this green button. Mm. Let us, oh, are you ready to take score? All right, let us be, <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. Timer, always. <laughs> you guys are getting 90 seconds as usual. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous. What time is it? Oh I'm usually sorry. like in bed by nine, <laughs> so this is late. <laughs> Alright, ready? Go. Okay. The reindeer names Donner and Blitzen mean thunder and lightning. Yeah. True! That is true. Right! Now, oh. Ulysses S. Grant is on the $50 bill. That is Shayna. Uh, true. That is true. Yes. Right! Martha Stewart went to prison for organization, organized crime. True. That is false. <laughs> The it first beanbag chair was released in 1975. True. Kristen. True. That is false. <laughs> Teach me how to doggy is by Soldier Boy. Oh. Yes, that is false. Right. The bee hummingbird is the smallest bird, Kristen. That's true. That is true. Right. Yeah. Canadian money is, for all intents and purposes, unrippable. True. That is true. Now. Right. Hayao Miyazaki is a Japanese playwright. True. Shayna, that's false. Oh, H2O2 writer. is a chemical formula for peroxide, Nick. True. That is true. Oh. Right. <laughs> My guy who communicates with Professor Sunni Fredonia has been to China. Kristen. False. That is true. Oh. There's a Springfield in all 50 states. Shayna. True. That is false. Oh. Jack Russell's is a type of retriever. Kristen. False. That is false. The right. Superior. Pablo Escobar is deceased, Nick. False. That's true. Oh my God. <laughs> the traditional gift for a 30 year anniversary is pearls. True. That is true. Yeah. Uh, right. The Aleutian Islands are a part of Oregon, Kristen. That's false. Yeah. Right. A tribe called Crested of four original members. True. That, that is, is true, yes. Right. Do I get that one or no? Yeah, you got that. Oh. Woo! Wasn't going to take that away from you. That was a great round. I loved the enthusiasm. Very Sorry for I, I apologize to everybody in the back. That probably clipped really bad. <laughs> that probably clipped really bad. All right, Mark, I'm interested to see the scoring for this one. Uh, what did Kristen get? I'm Kristen got five. 
Kristen got five correct. What did Nick get? Oh. Nick got four correct, and Shayna? Shayna is trailing with one. Shayna got one. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. So that will take, I will, I'll do this, and you don't have to go to the second board. So that will take Kristen to 330. Woo. That will take Nick to 240. Oh, okay. And that will take Shayna to 360. 330, 240, 360. And the game just got closer. Well, well, not. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, that was a, that was an intense round. I loved that one. You heard, that was, performance was very good. I do have to say. Thank, Thank you. you. Love the, so love really the energy. Like Thank you. What was the one that I was? Uh, oh yeah, the Mike Igo one. That is. I did not expect you to know that, obviously. But I, just <laughs> I, don't even, I don't really remember. <laughs> it was something about Mike Igo in China. I didn't really pay attention. I just said He's something. He's a professor in, in the comm yeah, department I, I who nonstop talks about how he uh, has been like to China. Oh, uh, <laughs> see, the thing is, is after him? No, yeah, no, that's what not. I was thinking. I thought you guys were talking about like, Igo Hall. Was he related to the Igo? I don't believe so. So Jimmy Igo? My guy, uh, the Igo Hall is named after a kid who drowned in like... Yeah. 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 <laughs> Why didn't Jimmy, you know right? that? Jimmy, right? Jimmy. Oh, Someone like God. that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. To reiterate, after the end of this round, the scores are 330 to 240 to 360. But of course, you know, that doesn't matter. They are playing for a $100 Visa gift card. Yeah! 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 It's Christmas all over it. Obviously, you don't have to celebrate Christmas to use this, but whatever holidays you do, you're going to use it towards that, I bet, if you get it, because it is the holiday season, my friends. That is true. Or use it on yourself. Self-care self self is awareness. Yeah, self-care is important, too. Buy yourself a humongous bag of salt and vinegar chips. I don't know. Something to make you happy. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's what I would do if I had to spend my money on chips. Salt. Holidays. It's my favorite time of year. It's my favorite too. And because I get to celebrate now with my favorite person, I got you one of my favorite things. This $100 Visa gift card that oh. you can spend anywhere. Dean, you shouldn't have. Oh, I needed to. Thank you. My gift to you. But why? Because it's the holidays. You're the greatest, Dean. I know. Happy holidays to everyone watching the game show. From us to you. Mike at my leg. <laughs> and it's that time again for round three of the finale of the game show. We are nearing the end, folks. It is bittersweet. It is bittersweet, but not quite as bittersweet as it will be later because it's only round three. This is where the biggest deviation happens, I swear. I swear. <sighs> Moment of truth. Let's see the four categories. We have cellular biology. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Evil corporations. Oh my God. The Mad Monk. Oh. And British television comedies. Okay. <laughs> like. I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm ready to get this over with. What's the and Mad go Monk? Home Can you like cry. give us a? Give you'll us find you'll find out short once once someone once the category is picked. No, I'm not picking that category. <laughs> The Mad Monk for 40, please. Nick wants the Mad Monk for 40. Rasputin was said to be unkillable, <laughs> as he notoriously, notoriously survived many assassination attempts. By what means was he finally killed? Drowning, poisoning, a gunshot wound, I feel wound like Kristen would know this for some reason. I don't know why. Ra, ra, Rasputin, See, lover of the I know, I know that from like, like what's, what was the game called? 
Just Dance 2? Yeah, yeah. Just Dance 4? Stop. Three, Why are you unlocking so many memories I'm just in my take brain? It. No, please. <laughs> I didn't even put anything down. <laughs> um, Mr. Rasputin, please. Rasputin, sorry. Uh, Funny story about that dance, actually. I'll tell it later. <laughs> I, know, so, I know somebody that broke their leg playing like, just dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. That's not funny. <laughs> that funny. Alright, how is, is how was the mad monk finally killed? I don't know. A, B, and C, all different answers today. Well, he was finally killed at the end by C, a gunshot wound. That's what, oh, that's I what thought he it? fell in that's a frozen river. See, he did. Oh, that wasn't the but final But he blow, didn't though. die. Yeah. Okay, okay, I just okay. said he was probably shot. He was know. poisoned. Yeah. He was like. He drank it all. What did I say? Okay, I'm not yeah. sound really dumb, yeah. but like. Like, There's some weird facts about like, him what did he out do? there. Dude. I will was, talk to you about this when we're this there. category is finished. We're not there. We're not there. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> all right. Cool, cool, cool. Shayna, you are up. Okay. Um, let's do. British television comedies for 60. My favorite. Uh, this was, I love this stuff. British comedy tends to be very tongue in cheek and satirical. Brass Eye was a prime example of that, airing from 1997 to 2001, parodying what format of a television program? Was it a parody of an infomercial, the news, a soap opera, or a talk show? I'm just gonna like, yeah, I feel good about this. I feel like I've seen like, you know on YouTube, just like random clips of like weird shows? Yeah. I think I've seen this on YouTube before. The internet could be a very helpful place Dude, when it comes to I, knowing I, random YouTube information. I the weird places. I'm not mm -hmm. even, I don't know why. All right, what was it a parody of? BCB. It was yes, B. Yes, yes, I knew it. <laughs> Brass Eye was a sort of parody of a news show. It was like, yeah. Cellular biology for 60. Cellular biology for 60. <clears throat> what is an example of a normal <laughs> flora microorganism residing in the large intestine? Mm. Would it be Streptococcus variants? <laughs> Neisseria <laughs> SPP. <laughs> Staphylococcus aureus or Escherichia coli. Streptococcus. Oh, that's really funny. I'm gonna make that my Twitter name. Streptococcus. No. Streptococcus Shayna. <laughs> I'm sorry. I bet you wouldn't be. Um, oh my god, I'm crying. Yeah, how good are you? What's an example of, of this? What is that? Uh, B, C, and. Oh my god. What, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> what did you write? It's a C. Okay, B, C, and D. Turns out I had D. That was what I had written those, down. Those first three, I was like, none of those. I am. That's E. Coli. I know. I know they're actually, they're, they're all real. They're all real things. Mm. Those were. They did not look real at all. Do you all. know what streptococcus is? Mm. That's strep throat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's mad funny. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it was exactly that, like aureus or whatever, but streptococcus something is sore throat. Oh my throat. god, that's hilarious. All right, it is now 390 to 240 to 520. I haven't. I haven't. Nick, you are up. You got this, my king. Let's oh pick my one. God. Evil corporations for 40. Please. Evil corporations for 40. Child labor, unethical promotion, manipulating un uneducated mothers, burp, and pollution are just some of the offenses laid at the feet of this company. They've received backlash for privatizing a source of clean water close to Flint, Michigan, whose water has been undrinkable. Is that PepsiCo, Kraft, Nestle, or Kellogg's that did all these evil deeds? Locked in. Please. <laughs> Please. Please. Something. Throw me a bone here. Yes. Oh, now I don't know what you're writing. You never know. <laughs> this is the finals. This is the finals. <laughs> All right. What's the corporation? C, A, and C. 
See. Right. <laughs> How does everybody know this? <laughs> oh. What was going through your head? Did you just know a lot? Of, you just hear about Nestle being bad? Is yeah, that, no, Nestle I was just. I just was thinking Nestle to lose, like that one episode of Friends. <laughs> I don't, don't want um, I just I kind of go off the rails when I get tired. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. Hey, it got you it got you the question right. Just uh, 450 to 240 to 580. This is just running away from me right now. Shayna. Uh, let's do Let's do British television 420. British television comedy is 420. Whereas the British did create the original version of The Office, what other Office-based comedy did they create, premiering on Channel 4 from 2006 to 2013? Was it Superstore, The IT Crowd, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, or The Good Place? What do you think about the British Office? It's, uh, it's a uh, acquired taste. It is. It's something that I feel like you need to watch the American version first, even though it wasn't first. Yeah. But then like once you get older, I guess, and your sense of humor kind of changes. Go again. Yeah. All right. What, um, what show was it? B, B, and B. Yes, it was B. Yes. The IT crowd. I've I heard good things about the show. I've been told to watch it. I have not. <laughs> Nick, finally. <laughs> I, I couldn't remember. It also didn't really help you that happened. much because they all got it right. So. I know. <laughs> I know. The margin was only evened out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Like, actually, it wasn't even evened out. It was at actually least, just like. At least. It was stagnated almost. Like, I know. It, it, just, it just prevented it from only furthering. <laughs> it just gave me a less pathetic story. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Kristen, you're up. Mad Monk for 60. The Mad Monk for 60. The 1978 song, Rasputin, tells this tale of a mystical man from his sexual exploits to his healing abilities and eventually to his demise. What Euro disco group wrote this hit? Was it ABBA, Arabesque, Boney M, or Silver Convention? I guarantee that once you guys started talking about that last round, we were like, mm. Do you know that, I was just do you know that, like, like up monkey with the... The, the, the symbols. From the and Grinch? The little hat. Yeah, that's what's going in my brain right now. Oh, like, yeah. There's literally <laughs> nothing <laughs> in there. I love Brain Empty No Socks. Yeah, that's Brain Empty No Socks. Sorry. I just don't try something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my brain is telling me to write this, so I'm going to. Alright. Do we have all something written down? Yeah. Yes. Alright. Who sings it? C A C CAC again. Oh, it is C. Sake. Yes, Boney M. For fuck's sake. Oh, excuse me. That's fine. That's fine. Nick, you bleep us, right? Yes. Can you read yes. Us? Oh my Can god. I, I, I didn't put more bleeps in any episode than Shayna's last episode. <laughs> I cursed so much. And Dom was on, so. Yeah, me and Dom were just fucking going at each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, it's now 530 to 260 to 660. <laughs> 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 No! <laughs> Gonna cry! So well. Don't this. give me sympathy! <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going! Alright, Nick, you're up. Corporation 60! <laughs> Evil Corporations <laughs> for 60. <laughs> This produce company used to be known as the United Fruit Company. Under this name, they once massacred a group of striking workers with Colombian army troops. Oh my god! After rebranding to their current name, they once paid Colombian terrorists for protection. What company is this? That's awesome. Chiquita. <laughs> Chiquita Dole. What the f f Sorry. Or Count Agra. <laughs> you know what? They should make like a short documentary about that because I would so watch that. I'm sorry, I'm just, my brain is somewhere else right now. Yeah. Like, I guess. I mean, it would make, okay, never mind, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> I just get bad vibes from this one. I get lots of bad vibes from this. I guess I'm seriously bad vibes from this one. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm, just, I'm, 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 pretty I'm beating a dead horse right now. I I'm beating like a very A lot of stuff came out horse. about this recently, too. All right, which, which company is responsible for these evil deeds? A, B, and A. It is A. <laughs> All right, I don't even know any of the other fruit companies, dude. Chiquita Banana. I'm not healthy. I don't eat fruit. All right. What's the other one that's really, um... Oh, no, Goya. Yeah. Goya yeah. is yeah, problematic. Yeah. Horrible. All right, it's now uh, 580 to 260 
to 720. You know, speaking of Goya, oh. like, you know how you... <laughs> I'm like shaving, I'm smart. Sorry. No, like, I, I'm not being smart, I'm just being an idiot. Like, you know the, oh, what's it called? It's like, they have the spice. There's a spice that Goya has. It's um, Adobo? Allspice. Not allspice. Cumin. The, the, not cumin, the, it's like it the, the big the, one. The Adobo? The Adobo! Yeah. Oh. I have so, it, I, it, it, Noah and it lasts forever that, and I, I still think. have it. I'm like, fuck boy, but like adobo so good. <laughs> Shannon, you're up. <laughs> Make your own spice blend. When it, when it runs out, I will. Okay. I'm just not gonna throw it out because like it's perfectly <laughs> useful. Yeah. Um last do British television for 40. British television comedies for 40. Julian Barrett and Noel Fielding are a popular British comedy troupe known by this name. With this name, they produced a television show, a stage show, book, and even a UK tour. Is that The League of Gentlemen, The Goon Show, Monty Python, or The Mighty Boosh? This is one that I have seen plenty of. <laughs> love, I love you, Nick. I love you, Nick. Don't fret, please. I'm sending you the answer through my brain. <laughs> Unless I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so if I'm wrong, I'm going to blame both. <laughs> That'd be Which a is fair More than thing. likely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm done. I'm All right. Place. What is what is the uh, British comedy troupe? I don't know, man. D. C, D, and C. <laughs> D. Yeah. <The> <laughs> yes. All right. Let's go. <laughs> That is the mighty Boosh. Thank you. I've Thank never you. heard of that in my life. Yeah. I've I only known I've only known of it for so long because Adult Swim brought back reruns of it for a little bit. So that's how I was introduced to the mighty Boosh. How did I get here? And you you too, right? I totally knew that. <laughs> yeah. I totally knew that. Wow, I'm in the 300s. That's crazy. All right, <laughs> All right Kristen, you are up. Cellular biology for 80. Cellular biology <laughs> for 80. Which organelle of a eukaryotic cell functions to produce polypeptides with the help of a particle that binds mRNA and tRNA? Oh my god. Is that the nucleus, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, or the mitochondrium? Kristen, shut up. I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> my biology teacher creeped me out. I didn't pay attention. I didn't like my biology teacher either. My biology teacher... He tried um, to be too friendly with me. So, Here's a story for y'all. So my sophomore year is when I took, of, of high school is when we, I took biology. And um, I was really bad at it because I'm uh, just, science and math is not. It was my worst science too. Um, but I ended up doing really well because she'd be like, oh, come to extra help. And everybody, I, it used to be like three people. But then she was just giving us the test. I wish. And we would memorize the answers. And then I started telling everybody, and I was like, yo, you guys, she just gives us the fucking test at extra help. So she would, I, I remember one time she was like, I'm so happy everybody's at extra help. And I'm like, I'm a terrible person. Yeah. I, uh, That's great. <laughs> yeah, biology was my worst. Earth science was a little better, and chemistry was my best. I used to fall asleep in earth science. <laughs> All right, which, which uh, organelle is it? B, D, and B. Oh my gosh. It's B, <laughs> yes. The rough endoplasmic wow. reticulum. How are you guys so smart, dude? <laughs> and how did I get here? Because <laughs> you know about Germany. <laughs> I should have just taken the L on that last one. No! <laughs> Nick, you got you had a actual competition a <laughs> here with you guys today. <laughs> if the guy with the lowest score in this game show, oh, excuse me. History <laughs> wasn't in front of you today. I guessed on that last answer, and I'm guessing now. And it got you 300 points. It so. did. How are you feeling? Like Theoretically, Shannon like could bet. That's how I'm feeling. Theoretically, Shannon could bet all of it, and you could bet all of it, and then you get it right. If they bet all of it, though, and get it wrong. Then you can win. Get it yeah. If That's we what I'm both saying. bet it all and get it wrong, you could win. I'm having a mental break. <laughs> Isn't that what happened the first time? <laughs> all right. I don't even remember who picked the last one. That was me. Okay, Nick, you're up. <laughs> oh, God. 
I want to make you wait for it. All right, the Mad Monk 80, please. The Mad Monk for 80. He wants a cop. <laughs> Rasputin was a multifaceted man. He influenced politics. He was believed, believed by the royal family to be a healer to their son and was described as a wanderer and a pilgrim. Among these things, he was also a monk. A mad monk. What religion did he follow? Russian Orthodox, Lutheranism, Buddhism, or Zoroastrianism? I'm trying to sing the song to myself and search for the end of the power cake. You know that one now. Now you're gonna forget, forget that one. It's gonna go with the one. Can either be very obvious or correct. not very obvious? It's up to you to determine where you think this question is going. All right. Well. Come on. You got it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know it. I believe in you. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Right, you're go. gonna win this All whole right. thing. I believe. What was in the you. religion of our famous Mad Monk? A, D, and A. All right. Well. Is a Russian Orthodox. Just picking the big words, baby. <laughs> but that's like not a bad idea. Yeah. All right. That could right. really pay off for right. you. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Shayna, you're at 860 with like a lot more to go. That's crazy. Um, okay. I think yeah, you're up. Um, cool. Let's finish British television then. British television comedy is for 80. Get rid of her. What show focused on the exploits of, of a fictional 1980s horror writer, Garth Marenghi, and was met with a late time slot and poor ratings, but eventually developed a cult following, which I am a part of? Was that Dark Place, Jam, Look Around You, or Film 4? You're part of a cult? Yes. Following. As in, I... You get what I mean. <laughs> I, I believe it only had uh, six episodes. Yeah. And that yeah. much got at a cult following? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. No, I know. That's ridiculous. I only know this because of one of my friends in high school. You know this? Really? Yeah. We'll have a long discussion about this show then. <laughs> I don't know much about it, but I only know it because of him. Are you okay, Nick? Right. You're like having a panic attack. Are you? I'm sure? good. No, I'm good, man. All right. Fine. What was the show? A, B, and A. Wow! It is A. Okay. Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. Yeah. Who saw that coming? <laughs> How did I get here? Hey. Man, how the fuck did I get here? <laughs> hey, Kristen, you're doing really good too. Like, you're not far behind me at yeah. all. Nick, but you're doing really I good too. But I am far enough behind. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll try to get one wrong. <laughs> All right. I don't, know. I don't think it's hardest. possible for me to win, actually. I, I don't, I'm doing the math in my head. It's like not possible for me to win. <laughs> well, let's see what you finish off It's on. like literally not possible for me to get anywhere near these scores. Right? No, it is. It's always possible for you to win. Because it's if they bet possible. all. If, no, no, it is. Because if they bet all, they could go back down to zero. Yeah. That is true. That's, that's true. what. That's the whole point. I feel I have a lot of fear that that's going to happen. I'm going to be so upset. If I win. I'll be very happy for you. <laughs> all right. What are you going to do for yourself if you win? Uh, you... Probably not watch this episode. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, who did that? I that was did. you? Yeah, okay, Kristen, you're yeah. up. Cellular biology for 40. Cellular biology for 40. What is a virion? Is it a virus particle, an infectious viral protein, the nucleic acid contained within a virus, or the shape of a specific virus? Well, if you break down the word. <laughs> I have no clue. I don't know, man. 
I just don't, I don't know. <laughs> no one's gonna judge you either way, Nick. It's cellular biology. You're entertaining. It's... That's I am all the that matters. <laughs> I am the... Some might say the jester. The jester. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, what is a uh, Viriana? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. A, C, and A. How do you guys know this? <laughs> Jesus, this A. I did, break, how do you know I did this? break it down. Um, how do you like know, ion no, I'm, I'm is serious, like how do you know this? Because like an ion is a little like, particle. particle. Is this set up? Bro, is this set up? <laughs> no, no it was an ion is that was a little my particle too. and the virus is... <laughs> no, there's no way. There's no way. Nick, you're up, buddy. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to my box of wine and go to bed. Um. <laughs> corporations for 20, please. Evil corporations for 20. Yes. From the mid-1980s to 2000 in Rochester, New York, which company managed to spew more chemicals into the environment than any other company in the States? Is it Corning Glass, Eastman Kodak, Thermo Fisher Scientific, or the Dunkirk Nestle Purina? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The dog food in the park smells so bad. Oh God, dude. It's so bad. It's really bad in the springtime. Yeah. Don't yeah. visit. It's warm. Don't visit Dunkirk in the spring. Yes. That the reason that is on there is because. Just like nothing better than waking up. Of a local I dog food place. I know there, and they always smell like dog food. Oh, oh my God. That's so sad. That's I like the people who always smell like fish. I could never. All right. Who's the wasteful company? B, C, and B. All right. Boy. It is B, right. Eastman Kodak. There's no way you guys know this. <laughs> it's getting, not set up, I'm Nick. I'm getting set up. It's I not know. set up. How is it that we had the correct answer? Correct answer. False, false. <laughs> I just... Oh, no, how, no. dude? I just it's don't I understand. Am These questions are so out there. I, have a I give them the yourself. Kodak one, though, because it is widely known that Kodak is from Rochester. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, like, Corning is a place. Like, yeah. Corning. At least you need to pick D. That would have been bad. I'm actually going to go with the, from the worst possible answer. <laughs> near Corning. Oh, near? Yeah, it's from Elmira. Just, yeah. All right, we got three left. Shayna. Oh, God. All right, let's do Evel Corporations for 80. Evel Corporations for 80. Monsanto is one of the most despised agricultural corporations. Which of these sinister acts did they not take part in? So, three of them, they have done. Were they involved in creating Agent Orange? Did they sue farmers who tried to save seeds? Did they lobby officials in the FDA to approve toxins for their soft drinks? Or did they merge with Dow Chemical to create an enormous monopoly? What, or no, nah, I shouldn't say what they did, they did, what did they not do? I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I know about two of these, but I'm not I sure about. I'm just trying to eliminate one that seemed wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going Classes on a gut of elimination feeling. is my friend right yeah. now, and I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what you're missing, Nick. Maybe you're just missing process of elimination. Yeah, I. Because sometimes you don't I'm always thinking. have to know the answer if you know, like. Literally, that is the only reason I've gotten most of these questions <laughs> right. Like that's why I got the makeup one because I was like, no, that's the London look. That's maybe she's born with it, so it has to be that. I think we know what's about to happen here. <laughs> All right, um, what is what did they not take part in? I don't know, man. I really don't. D, D, and D. <gasps> yes. Again, plateau. I got a question right. <laughs> but no! yes, D. That's crazy. <laughs> They did not merge with Dow Chemical. There were it was talks of it, but they actually turned it down. Oh, 
Oh. They wanted to keep their shiny <laughs> reputation. Like yeah. suing poor farmers for like saving seeds so they can feed I their I read this families. whole thing about how they wanted, they like, they literally put like former members of their company in the FDA so they will approve aspartame for, for like soda I drinks. literally, boo. <laughs> I'm sick. All right, and then finally, I think Kristen, yeah, you picked the Cellular last one. Cellular biology. Cellular biology 420. 420. All right. <laughs> 420. What step of pathogenesis involves the movement of a pathogen from the portal of entry to deeper tissues? Is that adherence, disease, invasion, or incubation? What step? Shannon, you're also the first person to hit over a thousand um, before the final before the final score. Dude, it's gonna f me over. I'm telling <laughs> you, like you're gonna give me a hard. You final got a lot question. of points to to handle. Yes. <laughs> I suppose you're right. This is right. All right. What stage? What step? C A and C. Yeah, no, C invasion. I had a filter in the very beginning of this show. <laughs> it is long gone, brother. Why? They bleep everything out. Kristen, you're also If you get this next one right, you'll, editing, be, at a, you'll be at 1,000 as well. I try well. to stay courteous of editing. Oh, sh <laughs> I got him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> me, then. <laughs> All right, it is now 980 to 380 to 1,060. That is disgusting. That is. Amazing. Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting. Finally, let's finish with the Mad Monk for oh, 20. I can't do anything with my life. What was the first name of our infamous Mad Monk, Rasputin? Is it Grigory, Sergei, Yevgeny, or Dmitri? Oh yeah, you're looking for the song, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just playing through it in my mind. <laughs> he was like a character in Anastasia too, right? I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell you. He had the little. Like, I know he was a character in history. Or a bat, maybe. I'm gonna look that up after this. Was he in Anastasia? Do it. Maybe this is right. I don't know. Drink a bottle of wine and look up some recipe in history. All right, what is, the, what is the answer? Nick, please. They both have A. We got there, buddy. Big surprise! It is A. Gregory Rasputin. Rasputin was a character in Anastasia. Thank you. I'm, I almost picked Dimitri, too, and I was like, no, that's the, the, the cute boy in Anastasia. Can't ah, get that wrong. Okay. All right. Not that that is even Kristen, really. you have also broken 1,000 before the final question. That is, that is something that has not been touched ever, and it has happened, of course, on the champion round. Nick, you were just as part of it as, as these two. So you can't take that away yes. from you. You were a part, Nick. You were a part of the of the episode where two people broke a record. Please tell me I was the lowest score that I've ever had. No, absolutely not. No, I mean like in the championship. No. Oh wait. No, there's oh, been lower. Right. I set the record, I guess. Uh, Good right. for you. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, Thank with you. how do you guys feel like you did that round? Oh my God. Surprise! Surprisingly well. well. Surprisingly well. Considering and they both say the same exact thing at the same exact time. Come on, you cannot tell me this is not so. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Process of elimination, Nick. I'm telling you, it works wonders. Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming? Maybe this final round might be of some relief to you. Maybe, I hope. But use your points wisely, because we're betting on Christmas movies today. Oh. 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 In the name, tis the season. I'm so nervous.
guys, if you're about to turn 18, you got to register with Selective Service. It's simple. Just go down to the post office, fill out a card, and turn it in. That's all there is to it. There's no draft now. You're just adding your name to Selective Service's list in case there's a national emergency. So if you're 18 now, Selective Service, you got to get Register with Selective Service. It's quick, it's easy, and it's the law. Takes no time, just sign on the line at the post office for Selective Service. What a great time for a drink. What a great time for a drink. What a great time for a drink. If it's time for a drink this many times a day, you're not a social drinker, you're a problem drinker. And you could be well on your way to really messing up your life. Think about it. Talk to somebody about it. Do something about it before it's too late. A message in the interest of your better health from the American Medical Association. This is not a commercial. If you think measles, mumps, whooping cough, or polio are nothing to worry about, you'd better think again. Because they could make your child go blind or deaf. They can cripple or kill. To protect children, you have to get them immunized. Get them their shots. It costs nothing or very little, so get it done now by your doctor or local health center. Your child's future is in your hands. Don't let her down. A message in the interest of better health from the American Medical Association. That's demand, terrible. So, God, so now before. it is the first ever, a lot of firsts tonight, yeah. folks. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> They're just realizing what a bet is. I'm just thinking um, about all the people that But yeah, this is a first, down. plenty of firsts, uh, first finale, first championship game, first time one person, let alone two, reached 1,000 before the final score. Yeah. First time there's been a 700 point difference. Okay. That's <laughs> um, That's so, hey, so it's all right. Yeah, you know what? I we know love who you. I, am. <laughs> I know. I know how much I know about trivia now. <laughs> all right. Oh god. They are currently placed. Kristen, you have your, your vote ready? Just yeah. hold it below and let me see. Okay. So now I'm going to write your current score plus your bet and then two possible. God, that didn't erase anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nick, let me see. Do you want me to keep it secret or no? Just in the, in the name of tradition, yes. Okay. I think you already know. Okay. okay no matter what happens. Guys, this this question right here. Think about think about think about the, you know? think, <laughs> think about the stakes right now. This question right here is literally for a hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> You're sorry. Right. That's like funded by Sunny Production. This is like literally for a hundred bucks. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mark, you may go to the last true or false question, which is the Kobe Bryant one. Or that, yeah. <laughs> what is Clark Griswold? trying to use his Christmas bonus on. And you got a minute. Sort of a trick it is one of the most popular Christmas movies oh, of all time. For me. All right, Emily is telling me that I'm that I'm supposed to say the name of the movie, and that is Christmas Vacation. So if that if that says anything, I will give you an extra thirty seconds. Oh my God, my legs. Sorry, my legs are asleep. Absolutely. This 
That's why we have communication. I don't know why. I think this is this is definitely wrong, but it's fine. All right, time. My heart is beating really fast. Kristen. Kristen said family vacation. They, it was the, Grizz, it was family vacation and they wanted it. Or maybe it was a Christmas tree. It was between the two of them. Family vacation is wrong. Oh, Kristen no. bet, Kristen bet a thousand points. Oh, come on. How? This is. Dog, I, right. Nick, what did, Nick, what did you? Calculated. No, no. Hold on, hold on, before you show. No. This ain't gonna go how you think it's gonna go, bro. <laughs> Nick, what did you say? It was really fun to be here today. It was the fun that counted. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, you wanna, you wanna get a close up? Very sweet, that? very sweet, Nick. <laughs> you bet. Um, 380. Yep. <gasps> I, I mean, it was bound to happen. Shana, what'd you say? I was gonna. I said he was going to use it to buy an RV. He was about to use it to buy a pool <laughs> for his what? family. Shana bet nine ninety nine. Oh. Finished today at eighty one points. Shana, you are the first ever <laughs> game show champion. Yeah. Thanks, gang. Good job, dude. Very impressive. Yes, actually, I'm very impressed with both of you guys. <laughs> Wait, why are you cool? <laughs> thank you. I don't know, I don't know why I'm Who would you like to thank? <laughs> um, I'd like to thank my grandpa, Mac. Um, he's he's working. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I thought you were being serious for a second. No, like, <laughs> no. Thanks, thanks, Ryan, for being a great game show host, and thanks to the video crowd peeps. This is really fun. You celebrate Christmas, right? I do celebrate Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. I'm going to use this to buy gifts for my family. I'm really excited. <laughs> hey, I'm very happy that I know it's going. Like, yeah. Like, no. Oh like my God. No. Have, like, Listen, I got a Discover money. card, so I get five percent cash back. But now I can use this instead of using my credit card. Wow. Woo! We make we make miracles come true yeah. here. Wait. Do you think you could use it to pay off your credit card so you still get the five percent? Oh my God. That's an even better idea. <laughs> Nick, honestly, I, I whispered that like was. I was looking at those two's reactions. I thought you were gonna. Because you bet it all, dude. Yeah. If you would have known that one. If I would have known that one, I probably would have. The same thing would have happened. I think you would have cried. Which would have been really fun. When I said my heart was beating fast, it was because I thought you knew it. And the no. same thing was going to happen. No, 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 no. There's no chance, man. There's no chance. I actually, okay. I'm not going to say that on the air because a lot of people are going to get mad at me. For some reason, I thought you like sort of knew. So I was like, when I saw that you didn't know, I was like, holy shit. Because <laughs> you weren't making any expression. Oh, I know. I was, I was trying to numb the pain. <laughs> <laughs>